Hey dudes, today I'm going to talk about The Chair by uh, someone I'm a big fan of just in general for his uh, contribution to comics, uh, modern comics and indie comics in general, Peter Samedi and um, Kevin Christensen. So it looks like they sort of teamed up to do everything. It's hard to say because Kevin Christensen did pencils and plot, but Peter Samedi was the writer, writer slash digital, who knows, and he inked it. Uh, I'm just going to say that they teamed up on this uh, this very uh, psychological comic book, and uh, you almost even want to call it a comic. It is a comic, but it's a uh, it's it's a different style. And I'll open it up and we'll take a look at it in a second here. Um, it has a movie put uh, made for it. I'm sure the movie has to be completely different because when you read it, when you read this book, it is uh, just pure psychology going through it. Pure uh, uh, pure just mood essentially and then the pencils and the art really match up to that and um and i enjoyed it but uh just turning this exact book to a movie would make a terrible movie so it makes me want to just check out the movie i've been reading faust especially because the cartoonist kayfabe uh, uh channel and then who just they just interviewed tim vigil but they've been talking about him for the six months the channels existed and um and there's a movie about faust too and i know that they're probably both not the best films so much but you, you you sort of want to see what sort of pops out of of some of these ideas and um just anything related to comics into the into the i'm going to call it the real world because you know when you live in a comics bubble you live in a not real world but uh just seeing what how comics are translated into the real world is just sort of interesting interesting to me um so let's just take a look at some of this uh the art is black and white it's a uh, heavily black it, it goes back from just detail to moody. That's a more detailed uh, picture. Um, let's move. And it, it's like the right amount. I gotta really give credit because it's like the right amount of detail with the blacks and stuff. And I really, really enjoy the art. The script, if there's something that I didn't like about this book, is sometimes some of the, the dialogue pulled me out. Um, you know, just like the dialogue sometimes tried a little too hard to lead a certain way. Sometimes I got a little wordy or or just some extra unneeded words. And normally you don't notice that. That's so that's just a style or something like that. But um, it, it happened more than once, sort of pulled me out. I, I could pull examples, but that's really, at the beginning, just one part of it. Otherwise, I really, really enjoyed this book. It's very unique. It is not something that uh, that I think is gonna be doubled. If someone did something like this, it would immediately feel like the chair. And I will go and say, hey, that feels a lot like the chair. Not only art-wise, but just also the the fact that uh, story-wise. So this story is about a, a person at the beginning who uh, did not commit a crime. He's on death row. There's an evil warden and everyone is uh, basically a, a giant shit bag to him. They pee in his food and spit in it and stuff like that. And, um, and that builds up for about half the book. And so I'm going to just go into spoilers. Uh, so if you haven't read it, just go ahead and read it. Or go ahead and stop now. But um, then it turns out that the person is uh, actually sort of psychotic. And the world's sort of normal. He just has it in his head that it's like that. And, and in fact, he's related to the warden. And you find out all this stuff where the, the twist is really just the point of view you were getting it from. And then you got, and then the point of view changed and you sort of got the truth of the matter. And it was all, and just the, the art, the heavy blacks and the heavy lines just sort of built that story and, and it really worked for the, the psychological factor throughout. I can say this, I think that this book wasn't released in individual issues. It may have been, I don't know. Uh, it's from like 2000, early, mid 2000s, maybe 2005 or something. Um, it just worked so much better reading it straight through. I read it in two sittings. Uh, I just had something to do in the middle of the day, so I got up and read the rest of it. But even reading it straight through, it's not a very wordy book. You can get through it pretty quick. And um, the art's simple enough that you're not like missing details or anything. So really quick book, very good psychological thriller. Little problem sometimes with the dialogue that I, you know, I looked at it and did this a little bit, did a little cringe and then continued through. It didn't pull me out that much and uh, liked it a lot. And as far as I can tell, this is really the beginning, if not the official beginning of Alternative Comics, which if you watch my channel, uh, I'm a big fan of. 
and um, and need to start putting up more reviews for them because I, I do buy everything they get. Uh, Gregor Black is another guy that is a big alternative comics fan. So um, if you're not sure or, you know, $1.50 is too expensive for you to spend, um, both of our channels will do a lot of alternative comics. And then also the writer of this, I hope I'm not pronouncing his name wrong, Peter Simetti is constantly on YouTube online talking about the industry, uh, talking about making comics, talking about uh, writers and dealing with all that stuff, and then talking about his titles too, which just run the gamut. So this is a, a really cool, interesting start. Um, it makes me just want to like start here and go find, even if it's reprints, just things that he was involved in. Um, Cause he's actually built a pretty cool thing, you know? And uh, I know they just moved to a bigger warehouse. So he's uh, having some, some much dirt deserved success. Um, except for the time he was swatted a couple months ago, which was pretty dick move earth. Anyway, you guys have a great day. Go check out the chair. It was a good time.